Every year, I've said that I'll make my festive lighting smart, and every year, I don't. Well, not this year. This year, I'm gonna go to full dinner, trimmings and all. And to start me on that journey, I wanna show you perhaps the most simple and cost-effective way to do this, and it's with these, the Govi string lights, which are also on the tree behind me. And I'm telling you now, you won't believe what these are capable of. Now these things come in a small box and inside the box is a giant reel of lights, 20 meters to be precise. So it gives you a hell of a lot of coverage with each reel and they come on a really handy dispenser which makes putting them up really easy. Now joined to the end of the cable is a smart control box just here, which is a giant on off button. Now this can be stuck onto any surface using 3M sticky tape on the back. And then further along the cable is well, that, whatever that connector is, I've no idea what it's called, but that screws then directly into the plug. You simply pop it on and then it screws in and creates a watertight seal between the plug and the rest of the lights. Now the lights themselves and the control box are both IP65 rated, which means they're watertight. However, the plug is not. It's IP44 and will need to go in a sheltered location away from water exposure. But straight away in terms of design, I really like the sleek string-like nature of these lights. It's nothing like your typical festive lights that have a load of bulbs jutting out all over the place at every single angle, which only serve to tangle them in a knot that you just will never end up unknotting, so you end up buying a new set every single year. These are just so much sleeker, and it means that if you come to put them away, they fit neatly around the included reel again and then back into a small and neat package. If nothing else, this is a huge time saver. Now, I bought this tree behind me to demonstrate the lights while sat at the Studio Reviews desk, but before I bought this one, I made an accidental purchase. So let me take you back to earlier this week. As I stood there pondering my life choices, the one main thing that was going through my mind was how the hell did I accidentally order a 15 foot Christmas tree instead of a five foot one? I think it's too big. Everyone likes a challenge, so we set off to work, snipping off the bottom, placing it in a bin, and filling the bin up with gravel to make sure that it wasn't going to blow away. And all was going extremely well, until I realized I'd made a terrible mistake. Yeah, because it started at the bottom. Oh, I didn't think this through. How am I gonna get up there? How am I gonna undo the top? Completely safe. I'm using a knife, parcel taped to the end of a pole, on a rickety ladder with no one supporting it. Yeah, look, 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 look at this. Oh, it's like bursting at the seams. Oh, look at the Well, hello. Look! Netting off, it was time to wrap the tree with lights. Now it's very likely that 20 meters could potentially have done the entire thing, but I wanted a more concentrated look. I also wanted to see what it was going to be like with multiple string lights on together on the same tree. So we used two sets, one for the top and one for the bottom. Now we still couldn't reach the top, even on step ladders, so we had to kind of throw the reel backwards and forwards to get it as close to the top as possible. But once our second reel was exhausted, it was time to turn the lights on. Turn them on. Hey, look at that. Of course, the big problem was that it was still daytime, so the excitement was a bit short lived. Ah, that's better. Now, straight away, I was taken aback by how bright and vivid these lights were. And in a way, I was quite happy that I'd accidentally ordered a 15-foot tree because the lights looked absolutely fantastic on it. 400 bright and twinkling lamp beads sprawled across 40 meters of string lights was a real eye-catcher, and with that, I'd finally started my smartification of my festive lighting, and I was super excited to get started. But first, I had to pair them up. Now, the pairing process of these lights was super straightforward. 
the phone essentially discovers them via Bluetooth. And then from there, you can pair it directly to your home network. Interestingly, the Bluetooth connectivity continues on even after you've paired to your local network. I actually think this is quite a genius move from Govi because it means that if you go out of range with these lights and you have either poor signal or a non-existent Wi-Fi network, you can still automatically connect to your phone via the Bluetooth and control these remotely. And the thing is, the range on the Bluetooth is actually pretty good. I've been able to connect to it from about 30 foot through a wall, and that's been no issue at all. Now, if you're able to connect to Wi-Fi, however, you do obviously get the ability to connect it to things like your smart home, so Alexa, routines, and automations, and that way you're going to get the most out of these lights, but you don't need it. That's enough chat. Let's show you what these are capable of. Now, I've paired them up, both of these, the top and the bottom, in the app into a group. And when I'm popping in the app, I get the option straight away to turn on a bunch of scenes. Now, I can choose from these and it'll change the different lighting colors available. There are tons of scenes. In fact, there's over a hundred scenes. And I'll be honest here, I haven't gotten time to actually go through every single scene, but let me show you my favorites that one you've got this autumnal one here which gives it this kind of orange glow that also looks like everything is on fire at night which is a bit interesting but once autumn is over and it's time for christmas you can pop it in perhaps my second favorite the christmas tree this makes everything green with little splodges of color like baubles and tinsel all around I think this is a cracking scene and I really like it and I think this is what it'll stay on for the duration of Christmas. Now, if those are too static for you, there's a bunch of dynamic scenes which, well, give it a bit more fun. So for example, you've got this snowflake mode which kind of drops snowflakes and sprinkles them around which I really quite like and it will cycle them between a bunch of different snowflake themed type dynamic movements which is really nice but if that doesn't tickle your pickle and you wanted something a bit more Halloween-esque you've got lightning <laughs> I'm gonna stop that now mm. Now there's stuff that's even more dynamic. For example, this fight mode, which is enough to give anyone epilepsy. I've no idea what it's doing. Well, this is easy mode. There is a DIY mode where you can have full customization of the lights. And this basically lets you customize pretty much everything down to what segments or what color. You can change the type of dynamic lighting or static lighting. You can change the speed. I'm gonna need to spend a lot more time with it, but I'll tell you this. It's probably one of the most powerful DIY modes that I've seen on this type of lighting before. Now there's two more modes that this can do, which I wanna point out. And one is the music sync mode. This is quite fun. This will allow me to sync any music playing in the local environment and the lights will then move to that music. And you can do it via either the microphone on your phone, which essentially turns your phone into the computing power for the lights, or you can do it through the mic on the control box, which Govi have included. Let's put it on rhythm. <laughs> this is an immense amount of fun, but obviously I'm just using my voice now. Let's try it with a speaker. You got this with me. <laughs> yeah, this was the Tron Smart I featured in an episode not too long ago. <laughs> That's enough of that. But it does mean that, look, if you've got loads of these lights outside your house and you want to bring festive cheer to people at 4 a.m. every single morning during December, you can play some loud music to accompany the flashing lights, which is fantastic. Now, there's one more mode, actually, before we go. And this one kind of took me by surprise, and that's game mode. 
essentially this gives you interactive games that you can play with the lights which could be fantastic for kids or at parties when you've had too many whiskies that's for sure now unfortunately you can't pair up both of the lights and use those in a game you can only do games with singular lights so i'm going to turn off the top light and we'll do just the bottom okay the first game is something called sound wave and you, as you can see me talking now it's going up and up and up the idea here is that i make a sound for as long as possible and it will cycle through a bunch of different colors as you can see within the app all the way up to red the idea is to see who can get to the highest color and keeping their sound sustained the longest so for example <laughs> Oh God, oh, I wrote a purple, that's stage four. Anyway, the other game, which is possibly my favorite is the clap game. So what you do here is you have to clap to light the entire lights up. The person who can do it the fastest wins. Hey. If you couldn't tell, this is just so much fun. There's so much you can do with these lights. It's incredible. And this is awesome. It's getting a bit wet, it's getting a bit cold. So let's go back inside for the remainder of this episode. Come on. I realize that I've been demonstrating these from a Christmas aspect mostly, but perhaps the best thing about them is that they're just like a puppy. They aren't just for Christmas, they're for life. There's so many different app scenes and so much customizability that these will fit essentially into nearly any sort of setup that you want, indoor or outdoor. So I think that after the festivities, rather than wrapping them up and chucking them in a decoration box to be forgotten about for 11 months, I'll actually find a way of repurposing these in my life. Perhaps maybe around my outdoor seating area for some ambient glow, or maybe even in my daughter's room as some kind of twinkly starlight. And actually, when using it indoors in a lifestyle type scenario, there is one final mode that I want to show you, and that's the scenic dream view mode, which just tips this product over the edge for me. Let me turn this light off. Now the app gives you a bunch of preset light shows, which also play audio that matches the light show that you select. For example, you've got Thunderstorm here, which plays the sound of rain and thunder whilst also kind of flashing occasionally with raindrops. It's awesome. And then you've got things like, I don't know, let's have a look at the natural with forest. You've kind of got the leaves, almost kind of like the sway of the breeze with sort of the old twinkle of light coming through the leaves here with this awesome audio played over the top of it. I mean, come on, that's pretty cool. I just love this mode and these modes for relaxation, inspiration, and just generally because it's so cool. Let me turn the light back on. There is one last massive benefit of these lights, which I've not really seen before from any product, and that's the Govi community. Govi have actively built a community around their products, and you can access this community through the app that your lights are paired to. Now, this features a ton of discussions and inspiration for lighting, and I think it's a super nice touch to see that community, and it's a massive part of the entire Govi brand. So. That is a big round of applause for me. I guess I'll come out and say it, that I think that this product and the whole experience is a 10 out of 10. And that's a really rare thing for me to give out that kind of score for a product. But as always, there's a couple of things that might have turned it up to 11 for me. The first is that I would have loved to have had a way to connect the lights together to make a seamless run of lights, a seamless string longer than 20 meters. Now, whether that's physically or virtually through the app, unfortunately, both aren't possible. Of course, you can group them and apply effects to all of them at the same time, and that works remarkably well, as you've seen already. But this tiny little bit more functionality would open up a load more doors if using multiple string lights in a series. Another consideration is that the cable length from the start of the plug 
here and then the start of the lights is actually relatively small. I know I've got it wrapped up here, but I found that it wasn't really long enough to reach anywhere near what I needed it to for where the tree is placed outside, which is about eight meters in total. So I had to buy an extension cable from Amazon, which was cheap enough, about seven quid, I think, which I'll link down below for you. And that sits between this and that and sort of just extends it a bit more. I don't know whether that's official or whether you can, but I have done. And my house hasn't set fire yet. But I guess if you are using these outdoors and you are a bit of a distance away from where your nearest plug is, I would add one of those to your basket as well. And believe me, you'll thank me later. But other than those two pointers, they are just such a great addition to my smart home, both as a temporary festive decoration like this, but also in the future as permanent lighting. And I think the thing is, I've been massively inspired by them and by the community. So I think my next episode on lighting, I'm gonna see exactly how far I can push the Govi lighting for Christmas. But you'll have to wait until next week for that one. Put it this way, a 15 foot tree just isn't enough. But anyway guys, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, and I'll see you back for another episode of Stu's Reviews soon.